I introduce to you Dr. Jasmine Shaw, who is a pulmonologist with Erlangers University Pul Pulmon Pulmonology and Critical Care. Boy, that one beats me up every time. We're going to talk about uh, breathing difficulties today, or I should say breathing disorders, and lung disease, and, and the two things that can be managed, can't they? Partially, yes. Partially. That's what I was afraid she was going to say. Dr. Jasmine Shaw, again, a pulmonologist. What? What is the most difficult thing for a person? Let's start first with the, with the breathing, breathing disorders. So breathing disorders include anything where patient has difficulty breathing. And if we focus just on lungs, because breathing disorders could be because of lungs or because of heart. But if we focus just on lungs, and that's what I really want to focus on, people have COPD, asthma, mm -hmm. and other things uh, which could mimic similar symptoms. Um, these people, it is found that p when the the ambient temperature gets higher and when the humidity gets higher uh, these people have difficulty breathing mm -hmm. if you if you look at people who wear oxygen and they are walking around and if you ask them which part of the ear is worse for them um, they would say uh, summer if the allergies don't bother them in the spring and the fall yeah um, we, we'll, we'll talk about allergies on a different session but today just about the heat because that's what we have just experienced yeah yeah uh, and if they stay inside, um, do not get uh, exposed to that high temperature, stay in an air conditioner, which is a comfortable temperature for them, um, and make sure that the air is not very humid, even in the, in the home, um, then they usually breathe better. Wow. But it's a constant battle, isn't it? It is a constant battle. And year after year, um, it, uh, it seems like it's getting worse for the same person over a period of time, but most of the times it's not that bad. It's just because the underlying lung disease is getting worse. Is there anything like uh, uh, injections that you can take during the year that might lessen it? or There is no medicine uh, that can improve it. And in fact, huh. we would, you would be surprised, but the difference between the symptoms of shortness of breath in the morning mm -hmm. compared to the afternoon compared to late afternoon and evening it is worse in the late afternoon children with asthma have worse symptoms in late afternoon just hmm. because the heat is more and this is typically seen in summer yeah um, also there have been studies which have shown that the effect of the particulate pollens the particle and uh, pollutants in the environment, uh, carbon monoxide, all this, the effect of all these things is accentuated if the temperature is high outside compared to low outside. Yeah. So really a person needs to avoid being in the outdoors if they that can, right. but if they like to get out and exercise, play tennis or whatever, uh, Choose cooler temperatures, yeah. uh, early morning, late in the evening when the temperature cools down, or if it is just exercise like walking on a treadmill, do it yeah. indoors. Well, that's true. So, it's always more fun, too. It is. <laughs> you don't have to sweat as bad. By the way, friends, if you'd like more information, you can call 423-778-LINK. Uh, uh, that link uh, is 5465, okay? 778-5465. Or you can go to www.erlanger.org for the information. Good to see you again, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank now you. we're going to join having... Mr. Food in the Kitchen. You know why? It's time for a chicken casserole. When we think about a meal that was truly unforgettable, it was probably one where everyone was asking for seconds or even thirds. Well, I remembered one loaded with lots of flavor and great textures. And with summer winding down, we're thinking about getting back to our regular